Do your drums look old and rusty like this? Stick around and I'll show you how to clean them up. What's up guys, my name is Andy. In this video, I'm gonna be taking the drums off of my 66 Mustang and I'm gonna refinish the surface on them and get them to look nice again. I wanna get rid of this rusty look that they have. It's been something that's been on my list for a while and it's finally time to get around and get her done. So let's get started. we got this drum off let's go ahead and grab the other one off the other side so we can kind of start to look at what we need to do to get these things cleaned up all right now we got both drums off the first thing I notice is the style is different between these two drums you know they're the same size you know the, these are 10 inch drums uh, they got the same bolt pattern and everything um, I'm just guessing that maybe this got upgraded or replaced sometime in the past and this might be an original one you can see by the back side but that's not going to matter for what we're doing and we're only going to clean the outside of these uh, one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to mess with the surface inside here. Uh, these probably could be turned. Uh, they're fine for right now. There isn't really much of a groove or anything in these, but it wouldn't hurt to clean up these. But from the inside, it's, I don't think it's really going to matter. It's the outside that I want to clean up and make it look nice. And what we're going to do to get this off is we're just going to sand it down or grind it down or brush down the surface to get down to something that's better metal that we can paint and it'll stick. We don't want that rust on there because the paint won't stick to that. There's lots of different ways you can do it. You can use some sandpaper. Here's some 220 grit, you know, something that's coarse that will get in there and, and just get this stuff off there and get down to clean metal. You don't need to get this down to shiny metal, but, but getting it down to, you know, getting all this, this high stuff off there. I mean, it's already starting to work and just getting that off there. That's one thing you can do. You know, if you had a, you know, a, a grinding disc, you could do that, although you might end up taking a little more material than you want. You know, there's also those sanding, you know, discs. This is kind of worn too, but uh, it's got all those little pieces of sandpaper on there. You can use that. You know, you can even use a wire wheel. And this is what I'm going to use as a wire brush or a wire wheel uh, to get this done. You know, something like this here. This is what I'm going to do. Something's powered that I can get in there and I can, it's, it's fairly abrasive and I can get all that high stuff off of there. And of course, you can also use just a, a heavy duty wire brush also for taking that stuff off. It'll work too. Don't forget your eye protection. You're gonna to wanna to wear that. And if you've got a respirator, I put that on too because you're gonna to want gonna breathe all the dust that's coming off of this. All right, so that's one down. It's not going to be perfect, you know, again, you're not going to get it down to shiny metal. I guess you could if you really wanted to grind on it, but I think we just want to get this thing cleaned off uh, and, and get ready for the next step. So let's go ahead and do the other one, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> my battery ran out on my grinder, and i got to finish this with the brush, do it the hard way. All right. So that's about as good as we're going to want to go for now. Now what we want to do is we want to spray this down with some brake cleaner and just get all this dust and stuff off of here and get this surface prepped. I'm just going to use some of this stuff for doing it. Also notice, that, see I got this cardboard down here just so I can keep any gut, guts and grime, you know, grits and grime and stuff off of the, off the garage floor. You know, this is just a piece of cardboard that, you know, when you buy a, you know, buy a new TV, those are pretty big boxes. You can cut, you know, out those flat panels and then you get yourself something to work on or lay on or whatever. So I got a couple of these that I always use for stuff like this. And we're just gonna spray this down. Just get all the little loose stuff off of here. There, that's better. You can even see where it's starting to dry that the dust is kind of, you know, the stuff that's come off here is now on the, on the cardboard. Now comes the paint part. And there's a couple different ways you can go. Um, I don't know if the drum shoes generate enough heat to affect this kind of, 
you know, this Rust-Oleum 2-in-1 paint and primer. I don't know if this would work. You know, I had this in the shop. If that's all I had, I might try it. Uh, just because these things don't get as hot as the front disc, but I know they get hot, so I don't I don't know if that would affect you know be affected by this paint this kind of paint. You also have for people that have like this <laughs> barbecue paint. This is something that's also a high heat. It goes up to 1,200 degrees. That's actually the same stuff as this that I have here. But um, this is also something you could try and you can use if you have this around your garage. Again, only because this has a high you know heat resistance or 1,200 degrees would probably be sufficient for for these. It's probably overkill, but if you have that, you could probably use that. And then of course, you know, these kinds of high temp engine, you know, header, whatever, spray paint. So this one, like I said, this will go up to 1200 degrees. Um, this is the one I'm gonna use. Uh, it's just a, there's the part number if you need that. And I've got plenty in here. I got quite a bit in here. So I think this should be enough to do these two drums. But if I had those other two paints, I could use those two as well. So now that these are dry and uh, that brake cleaner dried off of there, I took this outside. I didn't want to do this in the garage. I didn't want these fumes and stuff to affect me. So I took this out in the back and uh, we're just going to sh shoot some light coats of paint. You know, just kind of cover that one, cover that one and let it set. And then we'll come back and do another coat. So we'll do two, three coats and see how these turn out. All right, that's the first coat. We'll let that set up and then we'll come back and take a look at it. Also notice how you know, it's best if you can start paint, go across and then stop paint. That way you don't have stuff pooling up on the edges. And obviously be careful, you know, we don't need to just paint this whole thing in one coat. We're not in that big of a hurry. Let's just sneak up on it and, uh, and then just kind of build up the layers of paint instead of doing it all in one and making it all runny and icky. So we'll let that sit for a few minutes. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Let's do another quick coat. All right, guys, it's been another 10 minutes. Let's do a third and final coat. This looks pretty good. If you had to stop right here, I think you could, but let's just go ahead and, and just get one more coat on here for luck. All right, that'll take care of that. That's kind of a heavier coat, which is fine. It says in the instructions that you should, you know, if you put a third coat on, it should be a little bit heavier. I think we're gonna be all right. We're gonna go ahead and let that set up and then uh, we'll take a look how it looks on the car. All right, guys, that's it. Those wheels are ready, to, or these drums are ready to go. Uh, you know, it's sunny today, so I let these things sit out in the sun while it was letting that last coat cure on, this, on these drums. So what we can do now is we just go ahead and install it back on the car. There's not much to do. I mean, just put it on there and and you're set. Uh, other than that, that's it. So guys, that's all it takes to get these drums cleaned up. Uh, you know, with that fresh coat of paint on there, they look a little fresher, a little nicer, and uh, kind of goes with the rest of the car that I'm trying to keep everything fresh and nice. So guys, that's it. I think you guys can paint these yourself. Uh, you know, just a can of paint and a little bit of time and, and you're set in a, in a wire brush. How to do it. So guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out. And we'll see you in the next one.